Welcome to Punch TV, I'm Bruce Townhill and today I'm with Darren who's a professional pad holder on the Gold Coast. He does it full time and he often wears these thigh pads to train up his fighters for timing. Now the thigh pads in themselves are a technique drill, they're a timing uh, piece of equipment. They're not, they're not meant for big leg chopping like we'll show you in a minute. So this whole uh, how to do it video is all about how to use these effectively and safely. So Darren let's get started, I think what we'll do is we'll, I'll just show some pressing on your leg. So we'll show you how to kick how to kick a thigh pad. So the pad's here, I step in and then I'll roll my kick and I'll put it against the pad and then I'll press hard. Let's see what it looks like. So I step and press and press. Step in, roll the hip and shoulder and you're trying to push the trainer away as like that. As opposed to with a leg kick, we'll be up, this is a man shield, it's just like a kick shield but with a anti-cork barrier on the back and a face. So it's just still a leg shield. So now what I do is instead of pressing against the pad, I'm gonna drop that kick in. And this is what you do not do on thigh pads, but you do execute on a, on a leg shield. So let's give it a look. Kick in, kick in, and see the impact is heavy, as opposed to press, press and push, press and push. So to try on the thigh pad, you do not hack away like a leg shield. You work your timing, and the next segment we're going to go into the timing drills. So Darren still kept his thigh pads on. We've now got a kick shield here, in this case it's just a man shield, same thing but it's just got a head on top. So when you are doing a leg kick and trying to apply force, you do the roll early and you come into the pad. So the leg comes up, comes up, and hits the pad quite firmly. A thigh pad by itself cannot take that force. So I'll just do it again for a couple of times. It's called chopping wood training. So here we just come in and we go for that leg on the thigh. Obviously, you don't have to be Einstein to work out that that cannot be done on a thigh pad. So let's move that away now. All right, so Darren's now gonna come back on screen. He's got a thigh pad. So the difference in the kick now is I lay the shin on the thigh and then I roll because the thigh pad is here to develop timing, not for power training like we just showed you. So watch, I step up to him and I press. I press. So I put the shin there and I press. And you're practicing the drive of your kick. Drive, rather than letting it go early and cracking that pad. You won't take it. So let's work some timing drills now. So I might go jab, Darren might tab me with that pad here, and then I'll press in. So the reason we've got to build up timing with a leg kick is if you don't come in with timing, you can get your leg broken. Let me show you. If I just throw a powerful leg kick at Darren and he checks me, that can break my shin, which is not a good outcome in a fight. Let's have a go. So he checks me, not good. But if he throws a jab now, and I catch him on the jab, that's good timing, that's good leg kicking. So now we can go to pad work. So I might go punch, punch, and a hook, and a punch. Darren might throw a jab at me, or another one down there. There's the leg kick, again. And there's no pain in that, is there? No. So I'm just pressing, pressing, and I can punch with everything else with power. And then when he jabs me, I go for the leg. I hope that helps you train and gets a lot more out of your leg pads than what you may have done otherwise. 